Living with COPD has its challenges, but that does not mean that you cannot enjoy a full life. In the next series of videos, I'm going to share some tips with you to have a better control of your health and breathe easier. The first one is to know your symptoms, know your limitations, and know your triggers. Living better with COPD starts with self-awareness. Everyone has their own capacity and their own symptoms. So note down what are your common symptoms and what makes them worse. What's the day-to-day -day variation in your symptoms? Now these symptoms could be cough, wheezing, chest tightness, or getting short of breath. Understand your limitations better so you can plan your activities accordingly. Like in a grocery store, how much do you walk before you get short of breath so you can actually take a break before you reach that limit? Similarly, pace yourself in other activities of the day. Also note down that what kind of activities make you get out of breath. For some people, it's carrying something in their hands. For some people, it's going up the stairs. For some people, even bending down to put your shoes on can make them short of breath. So for those things, try to organize your day and organize your environment in a way that you avoid those activities and don't put yourself in a position where you're getting out of breath again and again. Like for putting your shoes on, instead of bending, you can use a shoehorn. While carrying your laundry or your groceries, you can use a trolley with wheels so you don't have to carry it with your hands. This way you can have a better control of your activities and your capacity and conserve your energy for things that need to be done. Now, apart from this day-to-day -day variation in your symptoms, you could also experience COPD flare-up or exacerbations. These are times when your COPD really acts up and your symptoms are really worse. You can get short of breath even with small distances or even while sitting down. But it's important for you to realize what triggers your COPD flare-ups. Some of the common COPD triggers are cigarette smoking, allergies, viral respiratory infections, air pollution, and when the weather changes from extremes, like when it gets too hot, too cold, or humid. Try to avoid these triggers and prepare beforehand when you expect them, like staying in a controlled environment when the weather is too hot, too cold, or humid. Wearing a mask when you're in public places or when around sick people so you don't get sick. Quitting cigarette smoking and avoiding people who are smoking cigarettes. And similarly, using air filters inside the house when the air pollution levels are too high. That's it for tip number one, to know your disease, know your symptoms, know your triggers, and then I'll see you back with more tips in the next video. Gain better control of your breathing through Pep Buddy, your personal breathing coach.